Sarah, good to have you back on ATM Blowout. And it's time for Anchor Chat. And then Bessel and I are here to ensure we'll get you the best of that. So, Ahanese, the President General of Ahanese Ndibo, Emmanuel Iwanya, will vow to lay down his life if it will ensure peace and security across the Southeast state. If Iwanya will lament the killing in Southeast says it diminishes his person, hence he would use his position to ensure peace. Like Chief Iwanya who spoke while addressing the World Press Conference on the 2023 Ibo Day celebration scheduled for September 28 and 29, he said, I will take a kinetic approach that will require the cooperation of everybody. I will talk peace. I am ready to lay down my life to see that there is peace in Ibo land. I will go to Finland and everywhere to see that there is peace in Ibo land. I will go and cry to them. I pray to God that I achieve success. Okay, I was thinking he would say, I will go to the forest, the creeks, wherever these guys are hiding, that she will go there. That's what I was expecting to hear. But why are you going to Finland? Who is in Finland? Simon Ekpa. Okay. Um, I don't know why you all are laughing this morning. I'm just trying to bring the conversation to the fore. Well, here, 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 is, here is the thing for me. Yeah? Good move. I don't know why he's using the word kinetic, but good move, by the way, to ensure that those who are involved are thoroughly, you, you have conversation with them and bring it to the fore that this is what they should be and all of that. Yes. Now, this is very critical, and I'll quickly tell you why. When you look at the indices of the killings and the nature of these killings, yes, it, I don't even know why he's saying it diminishes him. I think it diminishes the Southeast. It diminishes the Southeast because it makes no sense for instance, why are you killing military officers? They are not the government that, is your, that you're fighting with, whom you feel that may have marginalized you or may have offended you. They are not. So why? Because those are human beings under authority like you. They are just doing their job. Now, if you have all of this power, why are you killing them? Why don't you just escape? Because you just killed, your, let's say you say you're fighting for a just cause, but you just killed another person unjustly, yes. who has children too, who will also come up one day, maybe they will have to kill your own children. Who knows what is going to happen? So to totally, I, I think that um, beyond what Ifinya Iwanya was saying, there is need for the Southeast to come to the center of the discussion on national issues. I do not think that at this point, Southeast should still be a regional convert, Southeast security, particularly, it shouldn't just be a regional conversation like it is a Southeast thing. I think that there is need for these people, this conversation to be heard in such a way that it becomes a conversation that everybody will be interested in. What exactly are the grievances of these guys? We have had some guests say, oh, give them amnesty. Offer them. But again, it's not when you know what their problem is. That's when we begin to talk about giving them amnesty. Yes, yes. So right now, we don't even know what exactly they are asking for. We don't know where to start from. But the conversation has started somewhere. But again, if Chifiwanya will said he wants to seek for peace, that's fine. But I also think that the peace he's talking about should start from going to the stakeholders at different Igbo communities. Meet the chiefs, the kings, the leaders of each of these communities. Make it a project. Go and hear from them one after the other. There are five states. If you cannot do it just by being the, uh, chair, uh, the, the president general of Ohanese in Dibu, you have stakeholders in the, in, the, in, the, in the group. Send people out, you know, divide yourself, have a program plan. Go out there, seek for, so go to the community. Look at what is going on in Nambra State, for instance. Ask pertinent questions. Make it a one-month project. This person, or you can even say, okay, make it a six-month project. In this month, what we're doing in the first quarter of 2024, you could say, okay, or what Hanese's project is southeast in 2024, the first six months will be first month to January in Anambra State. Yes. We want to have conversation with the stakeholders to find out what exactly, what their issues are. You document all of this. Yeah. Then you go to maybe Ebony State, you do the same thing. You go to Enugu State, you do the same thing. You come down to Abia State, you do the same thing. You come down to Imo State, you do the same thing. And other area, maybe parts with the rivers and all of these places where these guys may be operating, figure out what the problem is. Now, when you have a document that shows that proper um, um, survey has been carried out, the research has been carried out to show these are the issues here, this is why you cannot make better sense of all of this. Speaking of this from the top, 
in absentia. It, it's it's you know, even if you even if they you lay down your life, sir, and they kill you today, I do not see how that is going to translate to making the South East what the South East is supposed to be because it, it was not going to solve the problem. So I honestly think that they should have a program plan to say this is the project we have. First month of January 2024, for instance, we're going to Anambra State, and this is the agenda. By the time, even if you don't meet the unknown gunmen, so to say, by the time you meet with community leaders at the grassroots, look at the, 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 the story we discussed yesterday about the couple who was killed. Yes. Claiming the claims that they are IPOP commanders. Yeah. Now, their children are on the run. Not being able, teenage kids not being able to go to school. Nobody knows how that is going to And Every penny we heard in their father's account was wiped off. So, you know, these are like very sorrowful, deeply saddening situations. So, when you get into an ambassador, it's okay. You have meetings with the key state, not even the governor, for instance. When you're done with an ambassador, state, have a, a communique on what was resolved and all of that. Send to the governor. Go to other states. They go out first and foremost, what are these issues? Then you can collate all of this, take it to the central, so to, to the government of the Nigeria, um, into the presidency and to the National Assembly. And so, okay, this is what we have found out as a core issues. Don't assume you know, because then they kind of talked about marginalization. Mm -hmm. There may be other root causes that are yet to be unraveled. Yes. So don't assume you go to some of these places, you know, Figure out what can be done, gather, gather all of this and bring it to the center. Then conversation on what can be done can resume. I mean, every other um, region can also decide to do that. The South can decide to do that. I, I believe that we've come to the point where, because when you talk about insecurity, you saw what happened in our other East. Yes. How do you kill a man, cut off his private parts, his head, mock him and make a video? That city, up to now, they've not been able to find those guys. How did... Um, a gang for 13 years take over a community in a local government yes. and nobody did anything about that That's, because this one is happening in river state yes. and there are other pockets of similar things in river state and other parts of the uh, the, the south so honestly let's make it in my nigerian project why they are doing the ohanese is doing this one this another group can come up arawa can do this odua can do this let's even have a template on what exactly our problems might be Bring it to the, the people. So when you now talk about national conference, for instance, yeah. we now have what we are talking about. Yeah, so every, when it's so the turn for every region to present the key factors that may have caused underdevelopment for the people and the region, you have specifics that you're dealing with. Yeah. Now, a government of the day can now look at, okay, all do what people can say, okay, this is what our problems are. Uh, Arawa can come up with theirs and the middle belt and what have you done. Everybody, there's, there's an agenda. Now, a government now knows, okay, South is what they need is to develop maybe commerce, build a commerce hub, or do whatever it, it takes, get the seaports working, at least their agenda. Yes. So even in 100 years' time, anyone who comes into power knows that this is what these people are asking for. So if we're going to be one Nigeria, say this is it for us. Mm -hmm. Now, there is an understanding. While we're waiting for the government, the traditional institutions can begin to talk to their people. It's okay. You know, there is this, let's give them time and all of that. And then there is a fight. Everybody, even if a child that was born today who ends up being a president tomorrow, have an idea. This is what these people were asking for. Yes. It hasn't been attended. But right now, everything is being done haphazardly on the periphery. You're going to lay down your life. If you lay down your life, how is it going to solve the problem? But I'll leave that to you. Okay. Uh, well, you know, um, Dr. Uh, Emmanuel Iwayam is a man who has a standing impeccable pedigree when it comes to how far he has achieved in the government space and in politics as well. So, you know, usually we, we believe that when there is conflict or when people have misunderstandings, there are certain people that when they come to mm. that corridor of uh, misunderstandings, you know, there, there is tendency that there will be peace, you know. So, seeing it in that light, uh, Iwano is trying to come up now he's trying to make himself uh, uh, available yeah, as much as, as he can to um, help convince these people okay you know you can, you can never tell they could just see that he is coming out to really reason with them okay and um, th this whole unrest this whole problem will be solved you, you know so uh, looking at uh, his his message you know, he, he, he is the president of Ohanes and Digwa, and he was just celebrated, he, he just celebrated his 81st birthday, 
You know, so this all this is just all of what he's trying to offer now. And I want to believe that he he should be able to do something different we, in, in in due time. We we would we would hear something very commendable. Mm. All right, that's been Amcos Chat, everyone. But stay with us. We'll come back to you after the break.
Every day our lives are changed by history. We are one people, all of us. Leaders, politics. Nobody's ambition is what's the blood. I have fought a very family. Natural occurrence, war, and the world economy. I belong to everybody, and I belong to nobody. ATN covers it all on ATN Politics today.